Hey, let's make something like this. Hello and welcome to Polycode. We're gonna do a little tutorial. I'm gonna make a little 3D movement uh, demo. So we're gonna create a new project first. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a 3D folder in my home uh, directory. I'm gonna use the name Mover because all it's gonna do is to move a 3D model. We're gonna use an empty project even though we have 3D project over there. And um, Next up we're just going to go to File and Browse Examples, so we're going to go to Graphics and check out the 3D Basics project. We can switch between projects using this drop-down menu any time. And we're just going to run this 3D Basics, we can see the settings here um, using Control r or pressing this button. And here it is, that's all all this demo is you have a cube on a plane, they have textures and there's no interaction yet so we're gonna close this down and what we don't want to do now is take a look at the source code this is all the source, the script that it uses and um, so and what else? We have a resources folder two textures, very nice and what we want to take a look now uh, at now is we're going to examples again. We're going to check out input and keyboard input. Just yeah. So let's open that one and let's run it. Control R. And this one just reacts to the keyboard being pressed. Spin, 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 spin. All right. Going to close that one down. We can uh, we can take a look at the source code as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, prepare our, our project. So the thing is, on in the current version of uh, Polycode 084, if you copy-paste multiple lines, they somehow that breaks the source code. I don't know what's going on. But what we're going to do is we're just going to use a file browser and an external editor. So here we have... Um, our project and uh, here we have another window with the polycode uh, project standalone gonna go to standalone examples Lua we want graphics right uh, 3d basics and we will just go to the mover folder as well and we're just gonna copy resources all right <clears throat> the settings we don't need to copy, but the script we want. So on Linux, I'm just going to use gedit. So we're going to select this. We're just going to open this one as well in gedit. Going to paste it here, save it, and if we go to the polycode editor and go to our mover project, so what we're going to do is just quit and restart polycode. And uh, as you can see, we have a resources folder loaded now with the textures in the mover project. That's wonderful. So now we are just going to uh, take a look at the source code in gedit. So here is the main.lua with, with the uh, source code which we copied from the 3D project. What we're going to do now is also uh, get the source code from the uh, basic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which one was it game demos input input it was keyboard input and we're going to go to the scripts folder and just drag it in don't need this one anymore all right so we're just going to take a look uh, we're just going to take a look at this keyboard input demo let's look at it in uh, in polycode actually so in scripts here we see first we create a scene we don't need to understand that yet honestly I don't we create a camera don't need to do that the 3D dem demo takes care of that it loads an image we don't want this image it adds this image we again we don't want this image so we don't need it it, crea it creates rotation speed which is more interesting already um, yeah this is, might be interesting and when a key is pressed if that key is the left key 
the, uh, you know, the left arrow, then rotation speed, this variable, is changed, which usually is 0, to 200. And uh, if it's the right key, on the other hand, it will be set to minus 200. And then once a key is released, if it's the left or the right key, then rotation speed will be 0. So what is this rotation speed? Uh, well, here it is. Update, which probably runs 60 times per second, it, it creates a variable called elapsed, which is delta time. Uh, it's the time in seconds, so 0 0.016, and then we have it multiplied by rotation speed, which is manipulated by the key presses, and then the image is rolled. So we're gonna copy the rotation speed stuff from the keyboard input demo and put it into the main .lua of our new project. Now let's take a look here. We're gonna remove some comments. We create a scene, we create a ground plane, we load a texture for this plane, and then we add this plane to the scene, all right, as an entity, whatever that means. Then we create a box, which is uh, defined by, a, yeah, we save it as a variable called box, I mean, which is a primitive that we create. Um, size is one times one times one, C primitive is this. Okay, I guess that's a constant. And then we load the texture for it as well. We set its position and we edit. And then we uh, get the default camera. We set the position to 777 and then we configure it to look at vector three zero zero zero. We're gonna rename rotation speed. Let's call it movement speed. Rotation speed, rotation speed, rotation, rotation speed, rotation speed, no more. What we're going to do now is we're going to, again, use key left, key right, um, movement speed, yeah. And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to manipulate the position of the camera or box, I think box. So let's try out box, get position, uh, we're going to, whoop. We're gonna mm, have a little local fun local variable called pos equal to the position of a box as a vector free uh, element, as far as I understand. This means that pos x, pos y, and pos z are the free positions, uh, like the free coordinates. I mean. And we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna move a box, right? Hmm, box, box set position. We do the same thing that we did over there. And then we're gonna manipulate pause x. Um, yeah, by plus movement, movement speed times elapsed. So we're gonna move it by 200, which is multiplied by z approximately 0 0.016. Let's save it, let's, uh, whoops, let's, so yeah, we save that, and now let's go to polycode. Hmm. Let's close. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna hit run. And whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, way too fast. Let's go back to this, and uh, we're gonna set it to whatever twenty. Nah, uh, for fifty. Fifty is a nice number. Save and uh, hmm. let's update it. Come on, don't take so long. Okay, maybe 20 after all. Uh, 20, 20, save, and actually let us change the resolution as well. Um, yeah, let's run it. Oops, didn't save, but we can just say yes. Okay, here's a project. It's a bit slow to load. 
but that's fine. And here we go. Um, well, from my perspective, when I press left, it goes to the right, and when I press right, it goes to the left, but that's fine for now. Um, yeah, let's, I mean, obviously, actually, yeah, let's, let's just change it, because we can. Done. And uh, what we also want to do is um, add more add more cases. So this, whoop, no, this, this, yeah. So we want to go up and down as well. Up and down and uh, hmm. Now we don't really want movement speed anymore. Uh, we instead we want. Oh, I don't know. Let's call it speed x. So this was for the x variable. Um, right, and this will be the speed y. I hope no z. Let's. Let's go with, with Z. I'm pretty sure Y is for up, down, which would make sense, but we will we want to stay on the two-dimensional two plane there. Uh, so let's go. Let's go with this. Uh, let's do this. Else if key down or key up, then uh, we're gonna manipulate key uh, speed Z. And also we're gonna change pos pose position z, which will be speed uh, z times by a lapsed. Saved and let's just try running here. Let's see if it just uses the new code. Nope. So in that case, let's close it and open it up again. Um, did we do everything right? Key up, speed z, speed x is zero. Okay, maybe we should have defined speed z before using it. Um, yeah. Oops, I accidentally closed polygon there. So, here's a project. Here they are defined. Let's start it. Okay, up. Uh, of course, this is down. This is. Whoops, my bad. Let's go back to the editor and mm, up is minus 20. Back to polycode, close and open and run. And up and down and left and right. Wonderful! And here we go. This is the wonderful beginning of a game. But now let's just give it a little try. Whoop, whoop, nope. Let's try to make the camera follow our player. So we're going to go to G Edit. And we're going to create a local. Mm, what's it called? Pause cam, yeah. And we're gonna paste uh, this stuff. Right, and we're gonna remove the parameters. We're gonna write get instead of set, and then we're gonna actually set the new position of the cam, which will be uh, pause uh, cam. Oh, you know what? We're just gonna do all this stuff. position yep pause cam pause cam and pause cam let's see if this is enough yep our camera is very good at following the box all right so this will be enough for the first you know the first steps in polycode do write in the comments what you would like to do implement next and for now, have fun moving boxes around. 
Right, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and yeah, let me know what you want to do next. Ciao.